Well, found out why they came in. The mama right there that was pregnant just dropped that little calf. <laughs> Cute little guy. He's laying down just a second ago. I get the camera and off he goes. He's still wet, Al, y'all. Hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard, thank you for visiting. So today we're gonna to talk about splicing uh, barbed wire. Today my cattle finally made it through the, the breaches in this wire, they figured it all out. And uh, I had to wrangle them all up and get them back out in this pasture. I don't want them up in my area uh, because I don't have enough water for everybody. So once they drink up the water in that stock pond, I'll have to have the rancher come get them. All right, so here we see that it's just all tangled up and right down there where that cow is, that's, there's, it's, it's touched the ground. They just still slip right under it where there's nothing resistance, but it's broken here uh, where a tree fell and I need to splice the wire together. So let's talk about that for a moment. All right, so let's start, let's talk about splicing barbed wire. So you have two separate objects, right, that you need to join together. And uh, it's logical for people to treat that like two separate strands of barbed wire. And so, you know, you'll make a loop in one, you'll make a loop in the other, and then you'll loop them together, right? And then you'll, you'll wrap those two loops around each other. And, uh, the problem with that is it, that treats, that acts physically like two separate strands of barbed wire. And down through the years, as the bar, barbed wire sits there and vibrates, it'll vibrate in that crook and then it'll saw that line and then break that line. And so uh, now that I've seen many pieces of barbed wire pulled like that and last for a while, uh, years, right? But, and then, but you, then you gotta go back and fix it again. The right way for you to do a string, uh, join rope, or join barbed wire is to weave it is into one piece. So let me show you on this, these, the same thing that I was just doing here. So if you open it up, you open the barbed wire up. So, uh, all right, so you weave it into, into one piece. So you, you take and you un, unwind the barbed wire and you, you uh, on both both sides more hard than it needed to be all right so now the barbed wire is uh opened up on one end and then the other piece that you need to join you open it up on one end all right so now you have both strands of barbed wire still but you put them together you scissor them together like that and then all you do is you wrap one clockwise and you wrap the other counterclockwise over each way and you do it on this side as well. Now I'm going to use this piece of barbed wire here for patching so I'm not going to go all the way but you get the point. You see that there's not a hoop that that is woven into one piece of barbed wire. Now I can pull that and I can stretch that and it'll just get tighter instead of the loops would get a kink in the middle and actually start cutting each other. There's a limit, but this just acts like one strand of barbed wire. So let me go ahead and do it in practical use so y'all can see it. So that's why I didn't finish this up because this is actually my patch wire and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it physically there where they're broken. It's odd that uh, someplace and sometimes somebody put this back together and flipped the top and the bottom halfway down. <laughs> so, I've been fixing that too. <laughs> So after some fooling around, I finally found what strand goes to which. I untangled all of that. Now let me go ahead and splice that in. And then I could pull it tight and uh, close this up and keep running the cattle, hopefully out from my house. We'll see. 
they're <laughs> they're determined and they're big so i might not win if they think that this grass and water is better than that grass but i'll give it a try all right here is the broken third strand and uh, I'm going to unravel it. There we go. I want to take my piece of patch wire. I'm going to put those two together like that. Just scissor them right in there. And one will go clockwise around the strand. And the other will go counterclockwise. All right. So one went clockwise, and then this one will just go counterclockwise around it. So we'll be wrapped around each other. And then on the other end, where that uh, piece of wire comes into it, the same situation. Now they make crimpers where you can you could crimp the wire in and just press a fennel uh, fennel on it and crimp it down. And I've seen those if I had. Uh, you know, they cost a little bit of money, not much, but um, I've seen those pull out of the crimps too. This is something that I'm doing not even with a tool, right? <laughs> right? Now I will clip it and make it right, but uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> you could use those crimps if you want, but if you don't get the right size crimp for the wire that you're using, then, uh, then it'll come undone as you stretch it. Where this will work every time. And uh, even though that's, you know, done by hand, you can see that you hardly even notice it in the strand. There we go. So now let me go ahead and do it on the other end. Unwrap this. Now I'm not using a, a chain come along because it's cut a couple more places. So I'm, I'm going to patch it all first and then pull it all the way to the end uh, rather than try to stretch each section. In other words, this strand that's broken here, it's broken a little farther down again. So I'll do the same operation a little farther down. Well, it would be easier. All right, so I did find the other end. Let me go ahead and splice a piece in here and then stretch it. I don't know, it's about a three foot section missing out of it. Same process, so. <clears throat> Do it against my shirt, maybe you can see. So I'm wrapping it one way, all the way, and I just leave the ends like a piece of barbed wire. So I don't bother trimming them, just leave them up a little bit. And then wrap the other piece against it the opposite way. 
And that braids just like a braided rope when you splice in rope together. This braids the barbed wire in together so that the load, when I stretch it, is spread out over this entire volume. So, uh, and then the other end, you, you do that, you wrap the scissor around it. Remember when you were kids, I don't know if kids still do it, but when I was a kid, we used to have leg wrestling. In fact, I think they called it Indian leg wrestling. <laughs> But uh, I doubt they would do such a thing nowadays. Had a overtly sexual vibe to it. <laughs> Probably wouldn't fly nowadays. And obviously, I think it was a racist name. But uh, nonetheless, it was like those who've done leg wrestling, where you lay on your back and you you scissor up and put your legs over each other. <laughs> Trying to avoid that obvious comparative, but there you go. But now that is one. That one piece of barbed wire is one, you know. So I'll measure it out and I'll do it on this end as well. And then once the strand's not broken... Well, there we go. I've got splices all in there now. I've got them straightened out. So the tops, the tops, the bottom, the bottom. Let me go ahead and do my usual. I don't know how far I can stretch this barbed wire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook on it after that break right there and stretch it that way and see how good I do. All right, and this is how I pull it tight. I'm wrapping it around a bumper. I've decided between these two trees that we left, I'm gonna put a little tiny gate that a person can slip through. And uh, I staged it all so I could pull it tight there. I'll stage it all so I could pull it tight there. My experience is when I pull them in through the middle like this, I get about uh, 50 to maximum 100 feet stretch. So let's go ahead and try to stretch this out. All right, drop it in reverse. It's hooked there. Back up. I don't know why it does that. And then I crank my wheel like that so when I turn it off, it doesn't roll that much forward. So, uh, you know, I'm going to have to tighten a little bit. It looks like I did okay. For that top strand not good but okay so as i go down i'll pull it tight and nail it so let's do that well found out why they came in the mama right there that was pregnant just dropped that little calf <laughs> cute little guy he's laying down just a second ago i get the camera and off he goes he's still wet now y'all Didn't mean to shoo you off, but you are along the fence and I'm working. How cute. All right, let me pull back on that bottom strand that has two splices in it. See the top strand? Not looking too bad, is it? I mean, it's not, you know, guitar string tight, but it's tight enough. When all's been said and done, I'll go across each strand and give it a little crimp if I need to pull any slack out of it. Well, there's tricks to pulling slack out, but let me do that bottom strand. All right, let's check that bottom strand. So there we go. I've got it pulled a little tight. It's up where it needs to be. There's the first splice. There's the second splice. But still not too bad. Not too bad. I might be able to pull that all the way out. I'm gonna use my hammer and go in there and see if I could scooch that excess out where I'm pulling it. All right, I've got all the wire stretched. Clear down to that tree way down there. This is the method I used, of course. But let's look for where I spliced. Do you see it yet? Do you see it? Do you know? Okay, we're right there. Now do you see it? 
so you hardly even notice and uh there's the other one right down there i didn't even notice that one <laughs> and i did it myself all right but as you can see braiding it like that i distribute the weight right and the load into all the braided strands across a much wider section than just if you hook two hooks you've only got the diameter of the wire that's all you have whereas i have an eight inch section of braided wire so that's the right way and i didn't need any fancy tools nothing expensive uh this is an old barbed wire fence of old cedar post so i don't want it as tight as a guitar string but that's pretty tight anybody would be uh, proud of that wire anybody would be proud of that splice well the fence is up <laughs> Half mile, I don't know, quarter mile, some third mile, something like that. Uh, who would think an old fence could be romantic? Who would think an old barbed wire fence can be romantic? But it is, it's charming. Makes this homestead look pioneery. Feels good to restore something instead of having to pay thousands of dollars more. If I would have paid to have this done, it would have been five or six thousand as it was it cost me a bag of staples and a little bit of time everything else i cut myself all right so thank you for watching this is steve at thousand year homes today was on splicing barbed wire into itself and uh in the middle of the fence i didn't even have to take it down i just spliced it right there you can do the same thing just unravel it braid it just like sailors do ropes and braid it back in boom you got a much stronger situation than treating each strand as a separate entity don't think of it that way think of it as one entity that you want to braid it together all right like subscribe follow me along bye